that after Mark Eastman heard that we kind of rallied together. I guess it seemed that way, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just glad that usually when you see a guy get injured, that teams, you know, use that as an excuse and have a letdown and, you know, kind of go through the motions the rest of the game, worried about the guy that's, you know, went, went down because you're, you're worried about him. But, you know, it's, it seemed like the complete opposite. I think we kind of fed off of it and, you know, it was kind of like, let's, let's do this for Keith, kind of. I mean, that's what I saw, you know, it just seemed like our energy went up because I was on the bench at the time and I was watching it and it just seemed like, that's what started the run. So, you know, we're happy that he's okay. And, and uh, you know, unfortunately, he gave, probably gave us the spark. Thanks, Keith. <laughs> Paul, that seemed, to be, that seemed to be the case with New Jersey early in the year when Delonte went down. You guys seem to really band together when, when the times get tough, especially something like this. Well, this is a very close-knit team. I mean, this is one of the closer teams. You know, it kind of reminds me of the team in 08. And, uh, you know, it's like when, you know, when Marquise goes down, it's like your brother. You know, like when Delonte goes down, it's like your brother. You know, if you ever have a family member or something, something that ever happens to him, you know, you don't, you don't feel right. And uh, we're around each other so much, playing bus. You know, even, we even go to each other's houses. So it's like we're, we created this bond with one another. And, uh, you know, when something bad happens to him, uh, we all feel for him. But, uh, you know, the rest of us try to rally together. And, uh, hoping, and, and that's what you kind of saw in those two uh, injuries. What does Doc say to you at that time to uh, maybe calm everybody down? Because like you said, he's your friend, he's your teammate, you guys are concerned about him. How does he bring your minds back to the game? Well, in the middle of the game, it's up to the players, you know, and I thought we responded well. So, uh, you know, Doc didn't really give a speech about it, but he did come in after the game and said everything, or at halftime and said he was going to be okay. And after the game, he reconfirmed it. So, uh, you know, you know, that's, you know, we're thinking about it more right now. But, uh, you know, we're happy that, that he's doing good. Kevin, can you talk about how Rondo took the ball to the basket aggressively today and what that does for you guys? <laughs> so Rondo took the third over. <clears throat> I thought, um, uh, like, you know, after, after obviously uh, the key situation went on, I thought we started to get a lot more aggressive. Second half, Rondo just controlled the game, controlled the, um, the tempo. You know, I thought he got, uh, I thought he and Paul was aggressive early on, and we just fed off that. Um, you know, for whatever reason, the afternoon game is not the easiest, but you know they have, they have they are on the schedule. They are, have to be played. And I thought second half we had a lot more energy, um, emotionally, um, than anything. You know, it was a lot, a lot of poise. I think showed by our team today. Um, and we played well. And I thought we needed to execute. Came out, but the charge was led totally by uh, Paul and uh, Barajan. Uh, 